What's up everyone, Justin here, sadly, to do another wrestling tribute show today, Tuesday, January 17th, 2023, it's the new year still, the first month of the damn new year, and this is a major... Uh, breaking news, very, very sad wrestling news that I have to bring to you. If you haven't heard already, you, I don't know, you must not be on social media or the internet. But uh, if you're hearing this for the first time from me, sadly, one of the greatest tag teams in the last 10 to 20 years for sure, top five greatest tag teams of the last 20 years. Uh, again, one of the greatest uh, tag team wrestlers in tag teams of the last 20 years. Well, one of them has passed away. Who am I talking about? Sadly, Jay Briscoe. Long time Ring of Honor wrestler. Spent his whole career in Ring of Honor. Worked a lot of other indies. Worked in New Japan a little bit, I believe. Worked in Impact a little bit. But uh, he was Ring of Honor. He is a Ring of Honor original. Jay Briscoe has passed away. One half of the great, great tag team the Briscoes, uh, currently the Ring of Honor Tag Champs, that's even uh, sadder, they just won the Ring of Honor Tag Titles off of FTR, that's just, makes it even more tragic, that they were the current reigning wor world tag team champs in Ring of Honor, they've done uh, so much together. They're brothers. Also, they look like twins, the Briscoes did. I can't imagine what Mark Briscoe and uh, his family's going through. They gotta be heartbroken. Is a fan. Look, they were not my favorite tag team of all time, but they were great. Really great team. And it's uh, very tragic, sad news, very upsetting, huge loss to the wrestling community and world. Every wrestler that worked with the Briscoes or knew Jay Briscoe, every wrestler on Twitter, go to Twitter, check out a whole bunch of wrestlers' uh, tweets. Jay Briscoe's trending number one. Or he was at uh, 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. I don't know if he is anymore because I'm doing this show at 11 p.m. Or whatever time it is. Uh, 10.42 actually. But yeah, a ton of wrestlers that worked with him. They all loved him. That's what makes this suck even more that he's gone. He was loved by his co-workers, loved by the wrestling industry. Now, I guess the Briscoes were controversial for some reason. I don't know what they did. Past tweets or something that got them canceled. I don't know. But they were controversial. Look, they did stupid comments in the past. I'm not going to talk about that. This tribute show is not the time to talk about it. You want to know what they tweeted or that got them for uh, that got them to never work AEW television or AEW pay-per-view. Obviously, they were not canceled. Because uh, Tony Khan kept 
kept uh, letting them work in Ring of Honor or because he fucking needed them for the Ring of Honor brand. Without the Briscoes, Ring of Honor would be dead. I don't care if Tony Khan is still an owner, has unlimited millions and millions to put into it. It's not like he's running live events. He's not losing much on Ring of Honor. All he runs and pays for are the ROH uh, pay-per-views he puts on. And he could probably make a lot of that money back with uh, Honor Club streaming service. I don't know how many will buy that. But probably, I don't know, maybe, I can't guess. But maybe two to 5,000 people buy it or more. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, without Tony Khan buying Ring of Honor, without the Briscoes a part of it, the brand would have been dead. Without FTR against the Briscoes, nobody would have cared to watch Ring of Honor again on pay-per-view. Last year, they, I believe, were on two pay-per-views at least with, uh, or two or three with uh, Tony Khan as the owner. The Briscoes were Ring of Honor. Period. Without them, Ring of Honor would have had a hard time staying afloat. Yeah, they had millions with uh, Sinclair as the owners. And before that, they were going strong. Before Sinclair owned it, Ring of Honor was drawing uh, pretty big crowds. So anyways, uh, I would say with the Briscoes and Ring of Honor, to me, Ring of Honor was always a number three company in the United States. It was WWE, Impact, and then I looked at Ring of Honor as the third. The third uh, major company that was big. And the most successful. Of course, when AEW came around, uh, Ring of Honor ba basically died. It was still around, but nobody cared anymore. A lot of talent left. The Young Bucks, Cody, Kenny, Hangman Page. Basically, all of Ring of Honor's talent uh, almost went to AEW. Or WWE in the past. But uh, this is my tribute to J Jay Briscoe. Again, the Briscoes, one of the top five greatest tag teams of the last uh, 10 to 20 years. He debuted in uh, the year 2000, May, May 20th, 2000. Jay Briscoe debuted. Of course, he was on the first ever Ring of Honor show in 2002. He's a Ring of Honor original. He was there for over 20 years. Sadly, uh, Jay Briscoe's birthday is next week. He did not make it to 39 years old. That is tragic. 38, way too young to go for anybody. Unless you're a scumbag, a killer, or a pedophile, you deserve to go and get the chair at any point. But uh, Jay Briscoe, only 38, was going to be 39 on January 25th. And what's just more sad and tragic to me is he's a year younger than I am. He's 38. He was going to be 39. I'm 39. So, uh, Jay Briscoe and me, if he would have lived, this is just, it's, it's shocking, it's unreal, I can't believe it's real, I can't believe he's gone. He would have been 39 when I'm 39. So, that's, uh, that hits hard to me, because we are just about the same damn age, and he's gone. Tragically, to a car accident where I believe two other people in the car died. Or, I don't know, if he hit another car, I don't believe so. All I heard is he died in a car accident 
and two others also died. I believe in the car. Hopefully they were not one of his children or his wife. Another Briscoes, I believe both of them had a really big family and a lot of children. It's just, it's tragic. I, I don't know, I don't have the words how, how to explain uh, how sad this is. The wrestling world is in mourning, for sure. So, uh, yeah, ROH Original was on the first ever Ring of Honor show in 2002. I believe he started wrestling at 18, I think. But uh, it's just tragic. Very tragic. Right before his birthday. Again, his birthday would have been... Jay Briscoe would have turned 39 on uh, next Wednesday, I believe, or Thursday. I don't know when the 25th is, but I'm trying to figure out. Uh, next Wednesday, I believe, is January 25th. He would have been 39. Tragic. He didn't make it. And all I say about someone, uh, a wrestler passing away at only 38, it's tragic. Every day you wake up, tell your loved ones you love them. Tell your friends you love them. Hug them every day. Uh, life is a gift. It could be taken at any fucking time, sadly. So, uh, yeah, Ring of Honor. He's, he's on the first ever Ring of Honor show. He's in Combat Zone Wrestling before Ring of Honor. He's been a part of a lot of indies. He's held a ton of titles, him and his brother. Again, uh, Jay Briscoe wrestled on the first ever Ring of Honor show, the Era of Honor, where uh, he lost to the Amazing Red. And a lot of uh, Ring of Honor talent, also like one or two years later, a couple months later, the same month as Ring of Honor started, the same year TNA started. And a lot of the talent from Ring of Honor got to work in TNA. The Briscoes might have even worked in uh, very early on NWA TNA pay-per-views, I'm not sure. But they may have appeared at one point. They did appear in Impact Wrestling uh, about one or two years ago. I believe. So, he uh, had a feud with AJ Styles in the Amazing Red as the Briscoes. Began 2003. They had a feud with great tag champs. Uh, AJ Styles and Amazing Red. In the early days of Ring of Honor. Again, he was there for over 20 years. He was in Ring of Honor. You know, at Ring of Honor, they could have probably went to WWE, the Briscoes, but they were loyal to Ring of Honor. They kept re-signing because basically Ring of Honor needed them badly, and they knew it, I think, that Ring of Honor needed them. They couldn't afford to lose the Briscoes. They could lose everybody else, but not the Briscoes. The Briscoes were the rock the foundation of a uh, ring of honor. So, uh, yeah, he's held so many titles. Went on to New Japan Pro Wrestling, uh, 2016 through 2019. Went to Impact Wrestling in 2022, where the Briscoes uh, lost to. To the Good Brothers in uh, May of 2022. But uh, now let's talk about some of the titles that uh, Jay Briscoe and his brother held. 
I can't imagine what his brother again is going through. He's never ever going to see his brother again. And they're so young. They're not even 40. I don't know how old Mark Briscoe is, but I don't think he's 40. Maybe he is, but I doubt it. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, the last ROH match was ever on pay-per-view was not ever, but the last show on pay-per-view was the Briscoes and FTR in a double dog collar matchup. And the Briscoes won. And it was praised as one of the greatest uh, tag matches and matches of 2022. My God. And they had a great classic with uh, FTR earlier in the 2022, I believe, at the show before WrestleMania or after WrestleMania for Ring of Honor. They were Combat Zone Wrestling Tag Champs. Two times Extreme Rising. It was like a ECW type uh, company with a lot of former ECW guys. So uh, Extreme Rising. They had a match of the year to Briscoes in a three way. For a lot of these companies I've never heard of, but they held the tag titles. Jay Briscoe, full impact pro tag champ. Game Changer Wrestling, I heard of them. Former GCW tag champion three times with his brother Mark. House of Glory tag champs. Impact tag team champions. Impact Wrestling tag champs uh, one time. Jersey All Pro Wrestling tag champs. With uh, Insane Dragon, NWA Crockett Cup winners in 2002 also. Before the FTR dog collar match, the last ever match of the Briscoes that they ever had together, sadly, against FTR. Double dog collar match at the last ROH pay-per-view before January, or it was in December. Before that, I believe they were. It was in November that all uh, the Briscoes were on Ricky the Dragon Steamboat's uh, final match or last match. What the hell is this show called? Enter the Drag or F Enter the Dragon, Farewell to the Dragon, or something. Anyways, uh, the Briscoes were on Ricky Steamboat's uh, last match pay per view. The Briscoes were there. And they took on the Rock and Roll Express in the last ever tag match of the Rock and Roll Express together. Because they're getting up there in age. They're not going to team anymore. I don't believe. Robert Gibson's knees are bad. And the Rock and Roll Express, they're probably both close to their 70s almost. So, yeah, that's crazy legendary tag team the rock and roll express's last ever tag match was against the briscoes and now jay briscoe's not here anymore that's crazy to think about i my uh ftr's last tag match was not against the briscoes it was a part of wrestle kingdom that they were on where they lost the iwgp tag titles anyways more titles that Jay Briscoe held. Again, they won the Crockett Cup in 2022. I actually forgot that. New Japan Pro Wrestling Tag Champs. Never open weight six-man tag team champions twice. With uh, Jay, Mark Briscoe and some other guy. Can't pronounce his name. Japanese wrestler. NWA Wild Side. I remember them. Pretty good uh, indie small company, NWA Wildside Tag Champs with his brother, Premium Wrestling Federation, United States Heavyweight Champion, uh, Pro Wrestling Illustrated, Jay was ranked number 7 
in the PWI 500 in 2015. Pro Wrestling Noah Jr. Tag Team Champion. Pro Wrestling Unplugged Tag Champ. Real Championship Wrestling Tag Team Champions. Ring of Honor World Champion twice. And he was a great world champ for Ring of Honor. Also, Jay Briscoe, very underrated, great promo guy. He did great promos. He just talked off the cuff. It was not scripted at all. The guy was a great talker, great promo guy. Very entertaining, his promos and his brother. So, Ring of Honor World Champ twice. ROH, a six-man tag team champion, actually, with Bully Ray and his brother, Mark. I'm sure Bully Ray will talk about uh, Jay Briscoe a lot on Busted Open Radio. ROH are currently the tag team champions in Ring of Honor 13 times. I mean, the Briscoes are up there with some of the greatest teams of all time, the Dudleys, the Road Warriors, the Rock and Roll Express, the Midnight Express, Heart Foundation, they're up there for sure. Give me like a list if I made a countdown list of top 10 or top 20 tag teams of all time, the Briscoes would be on it for sure. They'd be in the top 10. Uh, ROH Year End Awards. He won a CM Punk Award, whatever that is, in 2007. Tag Team of the Year in 2007. Feud of the Year in 2007. The Briscoes against Kevin Steen and El Generico, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. That was Feud of the Year in Ring of Honor for 2007. Those matches were really great. I remember them. I think they even had uh, ladder wars together when ROH uh, was actually on pay-per-view for a short time in 2007 or 6. Tag Team of the Year 2019, Feud of the Year in 2019 against the Gorillas of Destiny. Tag Team of the Decade for the 2010s. With Mark Briscoe, Tag Team of the Year 2021 with Mark Briscoe, Ring of Honor Hall of Fame Class of uh, 2022. I can't believe Jay Briscoe's gone because of how young he was. And to hear a car accident is just even more sad. So uh, I can't believe it. So yeah, the controversy, you can look it up. In May 2013, Jay Briscoe had uh, controversial tweets on his Twitter account. Uh, Yeah, what he said in 2013 was bad. And wrong, I just read it. I'm not going to repeat it. If you want to know, look it up yourself. This is a tribute show to him. I'm not going to bash a guy and uh, not forgive him for uh, 2013, uh, his uh, feelings in 2013 maybe changed. I don't fucking know. He probably did change. And have different thoughts on it. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he felt the same. I don't know. But what I do know is I am respecting the man in his professional wrestling career. I'm paying tribute to it. Not here to talk about his controversial thoughts in 2013. Ten fucking years ago. Again, what he said was wrong. But this is about his wrestling career. And the guy deserves to have tribute paid to him. And deserves to be respected for over 20 years of taking bumps. And entertaining us. That's all I'll say about that. So yeah. 
2023, January 17th. He died in a car accident. His uh, death was conf confirmed on Twitter by uh, Ring of Honor owner Tony Khan. Actually, a few wrestling uh, sites and journalists actually tweeted he passed away like two to three minutes before Tony Khan said it, I believe, because I saw the tweets. The guy's all-time great Ring of Honor wrestler, all-time great tag team wrestler, underrated at promos. Uh, Jay Briscoe's great. Great pro wrestler. Very entertaining at promos. And just uh, one of the great tag team wrestlers. And gone way too soon. Way too soon. Rest in peace, Jay Briscoe. Rest in peace.